We all know the old saying that the checks in the mail, but some of you are saying why? Why wasn't my latest COVID relief stimulus sent straight into my bank account like the previous payments were? Well, the IRS has a rule for everything, and this falls under the appropriately named direct deposit limit rule. To combat fraud and identity theft, the agency only allows for three direct deposits to the same account. After you've gotten your three, they send your money by paper the slow way. All right, let's check the scoreboard now. The benefits from our February deep freeze we now have one. As I reminded you last week, income taxes are not due this week. In fact, because of the winter storm, the deadline was pushed all the way back to June 15th. Now, someone asked me, does that later deadline also apply if I want to give to my IRA to lessen my tax burden? The answer is yes. You also have that extra time for those so-called prior year IRA contributions. So I think we can add that. Judges? Yeah. Uh, there are now two benefits that have come from the deep freeze. Finally, a follow up to last week when I explained how your credit score is often used to determine how much you pay for auto insurance. Well, it also applies to homeowners insurance, but we all know that credit scores can go up or down. If yours has gone up since you last signed up for insurance, ask your agent to check it again because it might lower your premiums. Also, certain credit history items can't be held against you. And if you're wondering, yes, there are some insurers who don't even check your credit. I've got more details about those two things and everything that we've talked about today with today's entry at Jason Wheeler TV on Facebook and Twitter, the place to be right on the money.